Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does it do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the Sun. You mean the Sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the apple. Like Eve's apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing... This must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli. The citadel is walled, protected by cannons, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. Leonardo, Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there. Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but... an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Taro. You're going to love Forli. The cannons in Arcitadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. It's very impressive. Well, it was my husband before, of course. He died. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> we discovered Girolamo Riario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed, and a pain in my ass. Look! Oh, no! Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. I see him! There! They're already inside! 
Double-crossing bastards! Is there another way into this place? Aspetta. Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey! You! Yeah, I'm talking to you! You spineless dogs! You occupy my city, my home! You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and rip your valley off? Which kind of men are you? Recent good fortune, finally to be shared. Come forward. Fairer prices than these, Amici. Just look at my wares and see for yourselves. I'm with you, Fernando! 
Taviano! Forgive me, Signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me!
Caterina! Caterina Sforza! I know you're in there. I have something you may want back. Are you missing any children? And Ezio Auditore. What a pleasant surprise. I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico. And Gecko. At your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, signora. We'll happily give them back. For something of yours? A certain map? And a certain apple, brother. See, si, A certain apple, indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village, outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Katerina, no. I can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. Si. You have my word. Diablo needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe. Remember your training! House. 
I've seen him before. There! Bonnie, don't let him get away! Walk again, Katarina! Give us what we want, I or I'll throw him off the edge! No! Help me! I don't want to be here anymore! Sit down, Marmocchio! <coughs> Not you! He's there! On him! Hurry, I Let's go, Katarina! Show yourself! I see the apple him. and the map for your kids are crippled! <coughs> acting like a baby. What are your balls? I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? Please, Messere, I'm hungry. Basta, basta, you're giving me a headache. This is it your last chance, Katerina? The apple now, or I break the boy's legs. a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know, the maestro gains his price because of me. 
Muori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Requiescat in pace. Grazie, signore! What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going.
You have your prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Che miseria nascono dalla vita. Requiescat in pace. Are you all right? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Kek Orsi's dead body. See... That I remember. Wait... There was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... A missing finger... See, si. Katerina, I have to go, right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolò spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. Blessings on you, brother. Grazie. I wonder if you can help me. What do you see? A monk in black robes who lacks one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. You sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Domenico, but it's his entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure it was a finger. Hmm. Now wait a moment. I do recall a black-robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San Vincenzo's feast at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. Go in peace, brother. I always do.
Excuse me, brother. I wonder if you can... <laughs> Unholy demon! Get away! What's wrong? You're the one who killed Brother Stefano! Brothers, the killer of monks has returned! Please, no, I don't want to die. I only kill those who kill others, and your brother Stefano was a killer. I'm sure you are no such thing. Now, listen to me. I'm looking for a black-robed monk who's missing a finger. Missing a finger, you say? Do you mean, like, Fra Savonarola? Savonarola? Who is this? You know him? I did. He was one of us, for a time. And then? We suggested he retire to a hermitage for a good long time. I'm afraid to say his retreat has come to an end. Where would he have gone? Oh dear. Santo Spirito? In Firenze? It's where he studied. Perhaps it's where he would return. I thank you. Go with God, brother. Hey Desmond, I think I repaired that busted memory. Why don't you try opening it? Piero had only a tenth of his father's talent. He still had some place to call home. Be up here, Stolto. Why are you... So 
Sometimes I wish the Assassino would return to Firenze, that we might be free of his tyranny. Salve, Ezio. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. Then it's true. Savonarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's enthroned, but its leaders. Men possessed of influence and power. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. Follow my lead. would be dangerous. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own, correct? Si. And they follow Savonarola not by choice, but force and fear? Si. Then I propose we use this to our advantage. If we can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent, he will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of his abettors. <laughs> <laughs> 